continue adding on some more pages. I last uh, left off just adding chapter one. So what I want to do is to add all the other chapters to it. Then I go back and start fiddling with and, uh, and editing things as needed. So I'm at the very bottom of chapter one, last page, and I've got my cursor at the very end. And what I want to do is to go to layout, excuse me, type, and I want to insert a break character, and this is going to be a page break. This will ensure that the entire page will, whenever chapter one ends, it will break in, into a new page and start chapter two all afresh. Um, so now when I go to file and place, let's choose chapter two. So there, there it is, chapter two. Show the import options, we'll say okay. Same thing, it's gonna have some of the same par uh, paragraph styles uh, for normal and endnotes. And so I wanna make sure that we're using the InDesign style definition. When we say okay. Now it is telling me I have a missing font on here. I'm pretty sure, and I've actually looked at this, that he's using just one, maybe two different fonts. And I can see that elephant was used somewhere. I bet that if I was to change that from Elephant to Times New Roman, everything will work out pretty well for this one. Now, oh, let's see where it is. There's Times New Roman. We're going to keep that. Elephant seems like just a kind of an obscure type font. We'll change them all and say done with that. Right now, so this is at the end. Here's Chapter 2's beginning. Let's back it up and see what we got. So everything's going in quite nicely. I can see there's my problem with the mega indentions all the way to, so the bottom should have end notes. Now it doesn't. I've got a problem here and I've, I've ran into this problem earlier and it took me forever to figure it out. Notice that my text seems to stop, you know, almost in mid-sentence starting a new political what? And it, it should add on more and it actually if I was to choose my type tool and start deleting hey I've deleted away a space and I've brought everything back but when I add a space something something's not jiving so there's something about that document that I need to check out if I was to say change the size of this text box let's make it bigger notice that my text now flows in I get the rest of it so there's something going on with this text that I need to figure out uh, why is it breaking right there and not breaking somewhere else. So let's open up chapter two. There's chapter two right here. And I went ahead and found it. And if I turn on my invisibles, let's go to view and, uh, where is it under tools? I wanna show my invisible characters. I can never remember this one. Uh -oh, locking up on me. Mark up, zoom, enter. Anywho, so this is where it's starting to go wrong after the word career. I notice I can highlight all of this. This means that he's added a bunch of spaces right there. And if I go into InDesign, uh, you can see I've turned on my invisible thing so I can see where all my spaces are. Let's make this big again. And you can see all those little dots right there. That means instead of hitting return, for whatever reason, he just chose to add a bunch of spaces. These are the little things that you as a graphic designer need to pay attention to. You need to figure out, hey, why did he do that? What went wrong in that formatting? Once I get rid of all the spaces that are done, everything seems to flow quite nicely back into here. Again, I'm seeing some unnecessary indentations, but hey, that's par for the course. The other thing is, I see that it's not really applying my character styles that I've predefined. That's because when they imported it, I had imported it as the default ones. So what I need to do is just select, in this case, my EndNotes, EndNote text, and you can see it's got EndNote text plus. That means it's, it's being over, not being overridden. I can hold down Option and click on EndNote text, and it automatically redefines my EndNotes the way it should be. Let's do the same thing for our body paragraph. Place my cursor at the end. Let's go all the way back up to Chapter 2 Start. 
There it is. Got it all selected. Notice normal, it's got the plus. We're gonna hold down option, click on normal, and then now everything is, there we go, this is perfect. Back where it is. Now all I gotta do is go back in and delete away any unnecessary tabs or spaces that are put at the front of my document. This is the type of thing where once I get all the chapters loaded in, I turn on some music or turn on a podcast and I just go through and edit, edit, edit. Uh, it gets everything, the, like I said, the foundation done. The next thing we're going to do is go back in for each of the chapter headings and start formatting those and placing in the images to make sure everything flows well within the document that we have. And we'll deal with that in just a little bit.